Okay, we're back to looking at the sink that we're going to put in the kitchen there, and this one's good enough um, for what we need to be able to do. So this is 33 inches uh, wide, and the, the length of it is 22 inches. So that's how far away in towards the wall it'll go. Remembering our countertop is 24 inches, so there'd have to be a cutout for that. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that would be what your cutout would be in the, in that, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we're just going to worry about drawing this in the people doing the construction we worry about that we just have to tell them what sink we're putting in um, and this is what we're doing here so the width is 33 the length is uh, 22 so when we go back over here we'll just draw a basic shape that is 33 inches this way we'll go 22 inches this way and go 33 inches that way and then C to close <clears throat> so that's our basic shape I'm going to go ahead and move this from there to this midpoint. Now we have two inches there. If you've ever noticed, your sink never comes up to the front, uh, right to the edge of your uh, countertop. So we'll go ahead and move it back that way, one inch. So now it should be centered in there. So we got two inches on each side. So now we'll get in here and work this a little bit more. Um, go ahead and draw a line that goes right down through the center here. Right, and then do, type in DI and enter, and you'll see that the distance is 1.5. So let's go ahead and just um, kind of, we don't know exactly what it's going to be. We're just doing a representation. So let's offset one inch here. We'll offset this one, one inch this way, one inch that way, and one inch this way. We'll also do this way and this way. Now the back side of it usually has um, more space. So let's offset, say, three inches. So that gives us space to put... Um, any faucets and or the, the yeah the faucet and and handles and stuff up in there. So we're looking at a space right in here. So let's do something like this. Um, we can do something real simple like click rectangle. Click go from this corner to this corner, and do the same here. Click rectangle and go from that intersection to this intersection right here. Um, then we can go and click erase or um, type type E for erase. And I'm going to do a crossing and get rid of all of those pieces there. And I'll get rid of this one and this one. Right click and enter. Um, your sinks tend not to look like this uh, because they have square edges on them or square corners. They don't look like that. So let's change that. We're going to fill it and we'll change the radius to say three inches. And we're just kind of spitballing a little bit there. And we'll repeat that radius all the way around. Right click, repeat here and here. Right click, repeat. Right click, repeat. So we'll do that on all of those. And the other thing you might want to do is try, try doing this where you would go, say, a circle. We're going to put a, a radius in the middle here. Um, uh, let's just draw a line. Let's draw a line right here. We'll draw a line that goes across the center like this. Do a circle right in the center of this. That's about three inch diameter there. And then that's where our drain would be. So that's enough to signify that there's a drain. And we can copy that, say, from this midpoint as a base point there to that midpoint since they're both the same. We don't need to worry too much more about the rest of that stuff. So now we've got a sink established. Um, I don't remember what that is. We'll just delete it and get rid of it. Um, we've got a sink established, uh, a refrigerator, and a stove. So our kitchen is now established. Now we can figure out where doors and stuff like that go in here. Um, so let's go. Uh, hold on one second. All right, so let's do some deciding where doors are going to be. So I think you go to View, click Tool Palettes, and it brings up here where we door, our doors are at. We're going to pick an imperial door and kind of just come in here and drag it in place. And let's start with... Uh, right here. We'll put a door in. Doors can be somewhat tricky um, when we do this, but we'll click that. We'll put it in place. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Uh, let's see. Let's flip it around this way real quick. Oops. I want to flip it this way. So you click this. Um, let's see. Do I want to flip it that way too? I want it this way, and I actually want it to go that way. All right, so now I want that corner right there to be right here on this corner. All right, um, so that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, so I'll go ahead back to home here. I'll click rotate this around that end point right there. I'm going to rotate it up this way. All right. 
So now what we do need to do is um, we're going to change some things. Since it's all parametric, our wall is only four inches thick and there it's set for six. So we'll come back to here, do that. And we want to have two inches of a gap from the corner there anyway. So I'll click move and I'm going to move this up two inches there. Now this placing the doors is probably the trickiest thing. Now we don't want a door that's going to open up and the handle of this door would hit right there. But we, uh, actually, as a matter of fact, we don't even want this to open inward. Um, we do want it to open the other way, so um, we'll change that here. But we're going to pick a standard door width and probably go with something like that right there. See, it's a two foot eight door. We could even go down to two foot six. It's just for um, a water heater in a, in a uh, pantry kind of thing. Two foot six is probably enough in there. And I'm going to flip this door so it goes the other direction. So now it opens out, and I do want it to open this direction so it's easy to get stuff in and out from this side. Um, that way it would open towards the refrigerator. Okay, so now that's in place. Now what you can do, once you place a door in place, you can click trim. Uh, let's go to trim right here. And I can click on that line and this line right here of that. And then right click and get rid of those parts there. So now my door looks the way it should look. We can probably use another 2 foot 6 door right here on this part. So we'll click on door, drag it in here, and put it somewhere right in here. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to change this width to go down to 4. I'm going to put this right on that corner. I want this to be... Okay, so I'm going to shift right click. Uh, I'm going to move that so it goes perpendicular to this. Right there. Um, I don't like the way that did that, but it's the corner's located where I want it to be so I can manipulate it. Uh, now, so if I click rotate, I'll rotate this around that corner. I'll put it in place there. Um, it's already, it's making this door three foot four door. I don't need it to be that wide. Um, two foot eight, two foot six is probably enough for a linen closet. Um, so if it's two foot six, uh, let's look at the distance. We want to split that difference right there. So if you type DI and enter, click from that intersection to here, it ends up being one foot. So all I've got to do then is move this door half of one foot, so we'll go this way, six inches. Um, the linen closet uh, could depend on where you think you're using it this way. It might get used as kind of as a pantry for the kitchen, or um, maybe you'd use it for getting sheets and, and towels and stuff for your bathroom. Um, depends on how you plan on using it. Um, Either way is probably okay, but you would switch it back and forth by doing that right there. But this is the position you would. You don't want it to open inward. So now when you click Trim, click this line and this line. Right click. Oops, let's see here. Looks like it's... Select that as my cutting edge, and this one as a cutting edge, and then right click and get rid of those pieces in the middle there. So now my door is exactly right. Nothing's extended over. All right, so I got that part figured out. So I got two doors in there. Let's go over here. This is an easy door to put in. Um, we'll click on the door, bring a door in to this right here. Uh, that looks good. I'm going to rotate the door though. Click rotate. And rotate this this way. Um, and let's see, it should be a standard size. Should be able to grab that and come back to right here. So that's perfect, and I'm going to change this width back to four inches there. So that's the way our door is. Um, doors generally don't open downward going to steps. You want this way is actually the safest way to do this, so the door doesn't get pushed open and somebody fall down the step. This way you have to open it and step back and prepare yourself to get down the stairs. So that's how they s determine what those those are. Uh, let's see. In this diagram right here, these show these accordion doors, but we really don't like those. We're going to go ahead um, and put in real doors to make it a, a more visually appealing when you're inside of the house. So we'll put a door in, say, right here on that endpoint, and we'll rotate that door back up to this direction. Now, we could select a door that goes to three foot there, but we don't need it to be, and it's just a coat closet so we'll put it right here now we can't have that right on the corner but what we will do is this is we want to center that up so oh let's click 
uh, this, we're going to drag this back so it's four inches and that goes back so it's a four inch wall. And we'll do the distance again, DI from here to here. It's one foot. And so then we'll move that up this way, six inches. Click trim, select that and that. So our cutting edges and cut those out right there. So that's centered on there. This needs a closet in here. And we can do one of two things. Let's do something a little fun on this one because this is a big closet. Uh, we'll do something here. We're going to put a door in. We'll just drop a door right here for now. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and move that. Let's put it right here on that corner. I'm going to rotate it up so it goes in place like this. And I don't want the door facing that way. I want it to face the other way. It goes going out into the room like that. And what happens if we make them really, really small? So that's a two-foot door right there. The other thing we can do, just for fun, is go ahead and uh, you're going to add another door. We're going to make a double doors going into that closet. Um, they're small doors, two-foot, but we can use the mirror and mirror this door from here up to here. And that looks, that you know, we look, look cool, at least from inside. Um, that's how you would do it. Do a DI again. We're going to center those doors on there. So a distance from here to here, one foot. Well, that's working out really nice. Um, and we'll move both the doors. And we'll go up this way, six inches. So that's there. So this time when we click trim, we'll click this one and this one. Right click and get rid of those pieces there in the middle. So that those doors meet right in the middle to, to do that. Kind of neat looking. Um, this would be like a heater or something like that on there. You'll see in, in this drawing, uh, sometimes it's like, it may be an air conditioner. It might be a, a ladder or something up to an attic or something. Um, this is probably a heater in a house, uh, right there. So, um, I would use this. I actually wouldn't do this. I would go downstairs and put the heater downstairs or put it up in the attic. So we'll just turn it into a regular little closet, just a small closet, maybe a kitchen, uh, Maybe you would put towels or something, another linen closet in there. So we'll just turn it into a small uh, closet. Let's rotate this this way. All right, so that didn't position where I want it to be. So we're going to then move that. Why is it doing that? Click move. Move that from there to the perpendicular right here puts that in place and select the width so there is a two foot door let's go back to the two foot door and we'll select this go back to a four inch thing now this is where it gets kind of weird so you have to have some space uh, between the two so we're going to look at the distance here so you you don't want to have it right on the corner hinges can't be right on the corner so we're going to look at the distance from here to here it's two inches so we will just move that over and center it right there We'll go over one inch, one inch that direction. And that's centered on there. And we'll trim this out. So this one is all about putting in doors. All right, so we got a door there. Um, and that opens the same direction it did. That's fine. It would open up to the, into the hallway there. So we got that door in place. So we'll go ahead and click save. We're going to save our drawing right there at that place. And we'll add some more doors in a minute.